would you kindly join me for another episode of Bioshock 2? This is Jewel Smith and I am playing my way through Bioshock the Collection. We are on level 9, the last level of Bioshock 2. Inner Persephone. In the last episode, we found the pediatric ward in the infirmary wing. And we rescued a bunch of little sisters there. And then we made our way here to the therapy wing. We have to rescue the little sisters in the pediatric ward that's located here. And then we have to head back to the docking bay and get into the submersible and get the heck out of Rapture. There it is. That's our goal here. So we're very close to the end of the game, I think. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this has been sort of unnecessarily drawn out. <laughs> Can we let this guy out? Or is he going to be stuck there? This is not a sermon. I will also oh, dang. Uh, I didn't realize I it was going to do that. You already know. Did you see that? The picture in the background when I zapped him? Oh boy. They are trying to condition him to not want to look at busty wenches, I guess. Poor guy. Can we let him out? Can't let him out? Alright, well. I have Alfonso, my trusty rusty little robot friend. We're nearing another pediatric ward. It will be guarded, father. Get ready. Yeah, I'm ready. As it ought to I'm be. as ready as I'm gonna get. I was to teach a simple moral calculus. Alfonso, Each seriously, get him away. As though the world must bear it. Each life or death for the common good. He called it oh, hello. the triage imperative. Let's hack this so it'll give us better prices. Let's see if there's anything in there that I might need. I doubt it. Crap rivets, huh? Oh, hey. Well, they really want to make sure that I am full up on supplies. This guy's no threat. He's one of the inmates. Pediatric ward and administration offices. What's over here? Can't really see very well over here. Destructive learning. Hello, mother. As you've always said, I shouldn't be allowed to wander the city in my condition. But without going outside, it's harder to hear much about the world. So I'm learning at home. This, I think, is our porcelain tea service in the style of Louis the Fifteenth. Isn't that right? <laughs> now that's a fascinating sound. And this is called a stained glass window, handcrafted by your adoring flock. They've gone to a lot of trouble to capture your likeness, haven't they? Oh dang. All right. So going through all of these wings, I've noticed, we're kind of getting a lot of backstory as to things that happened to Delta, things that happened to Eleanor, and things that happened to the various members of Sophia Lamb's cult. Not nice things. All right, there's the pediatric ward. That's our objective. But before we do that, let's just hack what needs hacking and check out these other rooms here. Is this a trap of some kind? What is going on here? Oh, a corpse. Okay. I 
administrative offices. Ugh, this place is just horrifying. I didn't think there was that many people in Rapture to have like as many people as they have locked away here getting uh getting tortured. Let's see what's down here. Alright, so there's just a little offices over here, huh? I hear something. Administration offices. Oh, dang. <laughs> Uh, something was, uh, coming at me there. I think... guy. Alright, my turret took care of it. Nice. What is this? Oh, door control. Okay. Oh, look how fast that is. Oh, look how fast that is. Alright. Let's use an auto hack. There we go. Sacrifices. Things aren't so rosy for Lamb's little collective farm down here, no matter how much influence she's got with the inmates. She keeps feeding Ryan more and more of her people for the Big Daddy program in order to keep the rest of her flock alive. I think she's getting desperate. I ought to have Weir double the orderlies on all the major junctions. This is also giving us a little bit of backstory, I think, into uh, the events that happened prior to Bioshock 1, the first game. Anything in here? Okay. Can't buy health kits, but I think I can buy some on the way out. That's a whole lot of ammo. Anti-personnel, armor piercing, phosphorus buck, auto hack darts. Wow. That's a lot of goodies. Head down. All right, well, let's use an Eve hypo and grab this one.
Well, they really want to make sure I'm full up on uh, auto hack darts and whatnot. What I really want are health health kits. Oh boy. Lamb will lead the way. Sure. A stratagem for Sinclair. Need I remind you, Sinclair, There's one. that Lamb is your problem now. She's no longer a citizen of Rapture. That was and the there's another one. You wanted her expertise, and now you have it. Lots of first aid Ryan kits, dang. Industries is your client, and we require test candidates from among your charges. The protectors are short and lived. Lamb would be a messiah, correct? Well, sell her a sacrifice to save the flock. There is a lot of stuff down here. My goodness. I don't think I've seen any place so full of goodies in this entire game. They want to make sure that we are loaded up. And ready. That's crazy. Alright. Let's get into the pediatric ward. I should probably save. <laughs> Let's do a save just in case the game crashes or something happens. Um, I mean, I should respawn from a Vita chamber, but this would be a heck of a time for the game to crash. Oh, and another first aid kit. Alright, well if I am full up of good things, let's go for heavy rivets. How about that? Find the pediatric ward in the therapy wing. Oh, secure the pediatric ward. <laughs> when you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal like before. Push the call button and I'll proceed. Any heavy rivets in here? Nope. Alright. Oh, and there is a healing station back there in the corner. So let's go get that. Uh, what else can I use? What would be good in here? Oh boy. Um, I want to auto hack that turret back there. What the 
Oh, it's broken. Dang it. See here, uh, decoy. Or not. Big Daddy Stuffed Animals. What's in here? Oh, I could go up here, huh? Okay. Oh, oh there's Eleanor waiting for me. Oh, and there's some supplies for me. I think... Yes! We're ready for the ballast tank. I can boil off the water and get us out of here. We must return to the docking platform, Father, now. She's saving all the little sisters. And I think she's doing that because I saved them throughout the game. If I had been harvesting the little sisters and not saving them, she would be harvesting them as well. Instead of saving them. She, she does whatever you do because she follows your example. Which is sometimes what children do. <laughs> Very often what children do. They follow their parents' examples. Alright, now we need to get to... Oh, by... What are we gonna do? What weapon should I use? Go with Solid Slug. Nope, she's giving me Adam. Anything else I need in here? You are not saving them, Delta. No matter how pure your intent. The surface is not paradise, but perdition. I would sooner see them drown. Okay, well. Is she saying she would rather destroy everything that she's built than have me save them? She doesn't want me taking Eleanor to the surface, I guess. Now, supposedly, all of this is going to be blown up and fall into the trench there. We're trying to get over there to that little submarine or something. Docking platform. Here we go.
All right, I think we have been everywhere that we could be. We've been all through the docking platform. We've been all through the holding area here, the cafeteria and whatnot. We've been all through this ward, infirmary. Yeah, I think we've been everywhere. This might be it. Is there anything I can buy? Not really, no. I mean, I could buy tonics I don't really need. I could buy plasmids that I don't really want. That's fine. I'm stepping inside the ballast tank, Father. Come up to the glass once you're ready for me to begin. There's no going back once we start. I have a feeling there's going to be an epic battle down here. So I guess I should uh, you would rip get the place wired up. From her home and family and feed her to a world without hope. Though Utopia may die with her, I would sooner see us fall. Goodbye, Elena. Mother will be waiting for you. Here they come, father! Hold them off until I can bring it to a boil! can use the Eleanor plasmid, huh? All right. Water is gone. Release the docking mechanism. 
Oh dang. What have I got here? Hang on. I have a feeling that this is going to be important. The elevator to the lifeboat is flooded, Father. We have to equalize the pressure in here or the door won't open. Of course Destroy it is. Destroy those glass tubes to flood the room. Destroy the glass tubes. We, we've done it, Father. We're launching. Get to the elevator. The elevator? What elevator? The bombs, <gasps> Trophy Father. earned. We're Heading falling. to the surface. Yeah. I'm running, I'm trying to run, Eleanor. Holy crud. Oh, she was able to teleport. Cause she can do that. But I couldn't. Are we going? And then, Father, the rapture dream was over. You taught me that evil is just a word. Under the skin, it's simple pain. For you, mercy was victory. You sacrificed. You endured. And when given the chance, <gasps> you forgave. That's so feel I am. Mother believed this world was irredeemable. But she was wrong, father. We are Utopia. You and I. And in forgiving, we left the door open for her. She gave her like a breathing mask, right? That's what it looked like. It looked like she handed her mom a, uh, a breather. The rapture dream is over. But in Trophy waking, earned escape. I'm reborn. This world is not ready for me, yet here I am. It would be so easy to misjudge them. You are my conscience, Father, and I need you to guide me. Be with me now, Father. Your memories, your drives. And when I need you, you'll be there on my shoulder, whispering.
If Utopia is not a place, but a people, then we must choose carefully, for the world is about to change. And in our story, Rapture was just the beginning. Oh my gosh. You guys. Whoa. Whoa. So is that it? That's it? We're done. We finished Bioshock 2. So did she save her mom? Is that what happened there? I mean, it looked like she gave her mom a breather. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the video. I was kind of all... <laughs> kind of all wound up. I didn't quite catch what was going on there, but it looked like... Um, I know there's different endings you can get from this game. And it's based on the different actions that you take throughout the game. Whether you spare people, kill people, spare the little sisters, uh, harvest the little sisters, and all of that. Then Eleanor's reaction to her mother is kind of dependent on what she has watched you do. Now, I did kill some of the people. I spared Grace... Uh, her Aunt Gracie, the lady that was taking care of her while her mom was in prison. But I killed Stanley Poole, and, uh, and I killed, uh, that Alex the Great guy, uh, Gilbert Alexander. Um, but I saved all of the little sisters, so I guess that taught her to be a compassionate person, Eleanor. And it looked like she saved her mom in the end, I think. That's what happened there. Um... Not sure what that means to the world. I don't know if I would want someone like Eleanor, or I'm sorry, like uh, Sophia Lamb, <laughs> to still be alive and living in the world. Uh, she was kind of a uh, a very disturbing and disturbed person. But uh, but okay, let's say there's hope for her, and hopefully Eleanor can help her be a better person. And it looked like there at the end that. She had extracted my DNA, extracted um, Adam or whatever from Delta as Delta was dying. And she took that into herself. The way that she had taken, remember she had taken all of the Adam and all of the DNA and all of the information she had spliced up from everyone who lived in Rapture and put it inside of herself. Well, it looks like she spliced Delta in there as well. And, you know, it's, it's also very symbolic of what it means to be a parent. To know that the, uh... Whew, that the life that you live influences your children. Even when you're not there. Wow. Oh, I am so overwhelmed, you guys. <laughs> I don't know about you. Let me know what you're thinking. Leave your comments and let me know what you thought of Bioshock 2 and what you thought of the ending of Bioshock 2. Ah, uh, I was crying. I cried. All right, I'll admit it. I was bawling there at the end. <laughs> uh, because you guys know how much I like Eleanor and the whole big daddy little sister story there between Eleanor and Delta. Whew, I related. But uh, that was a fun, 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 fun game. I liked that a lot. I liked it just as much, if not more, than the first Bioshock. Thank you so much for being here and enjoying this adventure with me. Oh, there's the cast credits. We can see who all the voices are. I love the voice actors in these video games. They do such an amazing, amazing job, and they don't get enough praise. If you have a favorite character in a video game, go look up their voice actor. Follow their voice actor on Twitter. Tell them how much you love their voice acting. I know they appreciate it. All right. That's it for me for this episode. I don't think this is going to be a full 45 minutes, but we are done. We are finished with Bioshock 2, and so now I will be moving on. We'll see what expansions, DLC, downloadable contents they have available. I think there's something called Minerva's Den, 
and something called Protector Trials. There was something called Fall of Rapture that was a multiplayer, but I don't think it's part of the Bioshock collection. Um, not anymore. I think there was like an online component or something and that doesn't exist anymore or something. I don't know. But we'll find out. We will explore the DLC for Bioshock 2 in the next episode of this Bioshock series. And then we will move on to the third and final Bioshock game, Bioshock Infinite. Thank you all so, so much for being on this adventure through Rapture with me. If you're enjoying yourselves, leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends. You can find me on Patreon. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook. You can find bonus content and other interesting articles, fan fiction, fan art, and fun things on my website. Links are in the description. Until next time, take care of yourselves. <laughs>